What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel, Third Gen Junkies. You know who it is, Chris. And on today's episode, if you can see that, right there, that is Max. The car that I was going to build and decided against because I won't finish until I'm like 60. Um, traded parts to Chris 100. And we're actually going to go down. I'm going to help him tear apart the monster car, his monster build car, cut it up, um, and get my K member for the Space Ghost project, the LS Swap K member, and my shocks and some other things. So we got about an hour drive. It's 11 o'clock now. The new tow pig, I don't know what I'm going to call it, uh, the white 2010 Silverado was having issues with the fans and. It took me a lot longer. Everything should have already have been done and we should have been able to get on the road, but I don't know why. I just, I sprayed water under the hood when I was washing it and for some reason the fan stopped working. I put new relays in, put fuses in, nothing seemed to work. So I hot wired them straight to the battery and they ran all the time before. So I don't know. We're just gonna make the trip, drop this car off, come back with an empty trailer. Hopefully I can come back with my parts. And on a sad note, unfortunately, guys, today, three of my four chickens are dead. So last night, a raccoon got into the coop on the run and killed three of my chickens. So now I only have one chicken left. So now I'm going to have to put up, like, motion detector lights to scare them off and floodlights and all types of stuff. So, yeah, it hasn't been a very good Sunday. It's like the 21st, I think it is, or something. I don't know. But we're going to get on the road, so give me a second. And we're off. I would figure there'd be a semi that would come down the street. Made it down. Jump cars. Magnum, Macho Magnum, number 11. Got my KYB AXGs. Alex and Chris are over there. Uh, another nice car. There's 12 right there. Yeah. So. Next step is we're gonna pull the K member out of the car we're cutting up, cut that car up, and then uh, move all the cars around so that uh, we can get it organized for him like we did at my house yesterday, which you'll see later on in the video when I get back home. And then unload the pace car off the trailer. Unload the pace car so that once we then it, hopefully it'll pull better because the truck made it down it was fine temperature even with the fan on it was running about 200 degrees which is normal it's 195 to 220 um only problem was is the trans temp went from like 150 and it climbed all the way on the way down here all the way to like 223 was the highest it hit so i put a trans cooler on it to help it and the trans lines are leaking a little bit but it made it so yeah Yeah, so, I mean, we got a lot going on. I hurry up and get this stuff done because it's like 2.20, 2.30. And then uh, I had to get my butt home and move some stuff around. Wife doesn't seem too happy with me. I'm not sure what's going on. But, yeah. So, we're going to get this thing off the trailer. I don't think I ever even showed you guys this thing. Um, it's basically a pace car. 20 gallon fuel cell, four point cage. Cage is not welded in, the cage is just half ass bolted in. Half ass bolted down there. And some bracing seats. Uh, Chris said he, he don't want them, he's gonna sell them. And my boss, Adam, wants them. So yeah, 
there's that but uh oh, my screwdriver you can't have my screwdriver no chris you can't have my screwdriver i need that but yeah so I'll get these off of the dash before they melt to the dash that's one thing i hate about these things um it's only a dash cap but still yeah see they painted this fake ass cage and the welds are not all that great you guys can see right there they basically welded it welded it in bolted it in painted it so much blue and threw a so much sticker on it to make it seem like it's a summit cage but it's not and look at that look it's a dead mouth But that's a pace car. And he's gonna be selling these rims too as well. So I wonder if all four caps are there. I never noticed. Oh, it's missing one cap. Probably inside the car somewhere. But yeah, we're gonna get to this and get this thing cut up. Oh, I gotta get my saws all out of the truck. So we'll see you guys in a minute. five minutes to eight at night um, driving weird thing is the fans even though I hot wired the fans make, make them stay on the whole time on the, in the truck um, for some reason for some reason um, they started working on their own again but trans temp on the way down it's right 199 it did peak at 223 at one point and the temp gauge, I guess it's supposed to range from 195 to 220. It was at about 200 the whole way down. Usually whatever the trans is running is about what the, uh, is about what the vehicle itself is running. So, oh boy. So the trans temp right now is running at about 201. Check engine light just came on, which is not a good thing. And I noticed, on the way when I started coming back up here, the um, fucking temp gauge stopped working for some reason. I'm riding with the heat on because I'm not sure what's going on. And there is a there is a thing on here. It says it's not telling me right now, but there's an information thing that it said the engine was hot and it turned the AC off, which I didn't have the AC on, so I don't know. I've just been driving it. I'm like 25 minutes from the house, so I'm just gonna limp it home, um, and I'll show you guys what all happened and what we did and what I got. And so I'll see you guys at home. All right, guys. So I'm back home, and as you can see, I brought home. I dropped off the pace car and brought home another Camaro. In pieces for scrap ah. yeah this one I had the strap going through the strut tower holes and these strut towers are good so I'm probably just gonna lob them off and keep the towers um, cut it along the frame rail right there to the firewall and then over and cut them out and keep them because they're both really good and then scrap the rest but I the last turn like not even a quarter mile from the house the strap popped off one of them slid off and ended up in the intersection <laughs> And I had to hurry up and run out all the way back down the street, pick it up and carry it, which was not fun. And then, if you look down in here, put some light on it. Look at that. There's A-arms, spring perches, which I won't be using. My A KYB AXG shocks and my LS swap BMRK member. So, finally got everything from Chris. And the truck made it, even though it was being weird with the temp gauge and everything else that was going on. But now the check engine light's on, so I'm gonna have to check that out and see what's going on with that. But uh, yeah, I made it. So I'll just take the Tahoe in the morning and then um, I'll probably run the scrap that's in the bed of the truck to the junkyard, just way out, pull on the scale way out and then have them unload it and then come back and put the rest on but yeah 
it's and it's hot and riding with the heat on because I didn't know what the temperature was in the car was not really a good thing and I went through a bunch of eye pass tools with no eye pass on the car so I'll probably get a letter in the mail big deal but that's going to do it for this one so like subscribe drop a comment down below and we will see you next time